Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm very excited to be talking about new procedural buildings version. This is version 1.2 and it has two new building types and a few added functions. Uh, now there are quite a few building types so I can't debug all of them as I uh, make them. So if anyone finds any glitches leave them in the comments or DM me on Instagram or just send me an email or maybe a fourth option that I maybe didn't think of. Also, I want to point out that you will need Bender 2.92 Alpha that is uh, linked below and the Gumroad file is also linked in the description. So if you want to play around with the buildings, just um, head over to the description and go nuts. Uh, let's get into the features that are in this version. Uh, for type 2 building, I added a chimney with all the sliders. We got a Z scale to control the height of the uh, chimney. We got X and Y scale to control like the general look, I guess. Coal scale because it's just so easy to make. And X and Y location sliders to position it wherever you wish. For now, it's not compatible with uh, width, length and height sliders, but it will be in the mid version between 1.2 and 1.3 where I fix all the things that are wrong right now. With this chimney, all the features that I wanted to put into type 2 are currently in the type 2, so uh, I'm very excited for that. Also, I added type 3 and type 4. Uh, but sadly for type 3, you don't have that much control over it. But I just wanted to make a building that looks like this because, uh, because it has its own challenges such as scaling the floors and the thing. I, it's complicated but it was really satisfying to get the final result that I wanted. Uh, it has sliders for building length and with roof hole depth and roof hole size. Um, note that all these features are rather slow because of all the geometry but I definitely plan to make speed improvements to the whole thing, including type 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 that is uh, gonna be out really soon. I really don't know how I'm gonna make type 3 look better, so if you have any ideas or thoughts you can leave them in the comments of course. And finally we come to the type 4 building. Of all four, I'm most proud of this one because it's designed in a way so you can basically change all of its looks by changing two sliders and a half. So yeah, especially with the option of scaling the bottom, creating a hole in the roof, removing the floor difference completely, uh, you have a ton of creativity just for type four. Uh, it's still a bit laggy and it's easy to break, but trust me when I say I'm gonna put lots of love into it in the upcoming versions of this, so uh, it's uh, gonna look really cool at the end of the development. But uh, I am going to add a lot of sliders for all of the control you will ever need, uh, so you can expect that to be really cool. Uh, okay, to sum up the sliders, you have floors with a difference floor's height difference, roof angle, roof flatness. The difference between those two is that the roof angle changes the angle of the boxes cutting the roof, meanwhile the flatness changes the location of these boxes. You, you can play around and you'll get kind of the point. Then we got lower detail scale and height, top window depth and finally top window scale. If you pissed your pants because of excitement, it's cool because I did as well. Just kidding. Anyway, uh, that's it for this version and bye.